You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! It's like, I'm thinking of ways, okay, like it's chess real. Like I know what to say now. I'm like, he gave me so much stuff to say now. And like I just said, like I broke this little press conference now. Like, <clears throat> and this ain't like, picture me tomorrow. Picture what I'm going to say. Picture what I'm saying now. Now picture me saying it to my opponent on top of all that shit I be doing on stage. You know, he made it better for me. That's why they kind of ooh and the eye because I sound serious. I wouldn't have sounded serious if we ain't had that, if I ain't get emotional at the face off. The face off viral because I was emotional. That's what they, they keep saying, oh, the face off is the, the every, every blog, every site say, I'll earn this bitch out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was in the bag? But, yeah, but, but, they, but, they, but they, I'm watching people downplay me like I'm not sitting up, like I'm, I haven't saw the. You know what I'm saying? He did this twice. Ain't none of his other ones went viral like this. I'm watching people downplay Hitman Holler, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it, that's the that's the. I'm glad it's that pressure because it's gonna make the win that much. You know, mean that much more. Mm. You know. I appreciate you, homie. Uh, as the next one's coming in, I'm going to lob in a quick question. Where's show out at, man? You took my question. Oh, that's my question. I must be asking good questions. I must be asking good questions. My bad. I, I'm, I'm going to try to fall back, but um, I got some more. Where's show out at, man? I don't know, man. Hopefully he can make it, man. Outside of Atlanta, South of Atlanta, Clayton County, you do a lot. You know what I mean? In the community, you know what I mean? I see you. You know I mean? You at the uh, celebrity basketball games, you at the toy drive. I was out there. I see what you do. People don't see that in the battle rap community. They see what they want to see. Paint their own narratives. You know what I mean? What, what drives you to do these things in this area that's new to you? Because it's just natural. You you can't fake that. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't. I did a since I I've, I've been working in Atlanta for the last like three years of wild and out, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even do a toy drive in my city. I do a lot of stuff in my city, but I decided to do one here because I make a lot of money here. Why not give back in one city you've been making a lot of money in? You know what I'm saying? That's just natural, you know? And they, they call me a high head and all this, but I work for two of the biggest TV companies ever. You never heard me, no problem. You never seen me get put out. You never seen me lose no job. You never seen me fight during no battle. You never seen me do a lot of stuff. But I, 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 I salute Cassie because in this culture, he see how it is. He like, I ain't really loyal. Let me paint this nerve, throw this out, and they done with it. So I salute him. It's, it's, it's the art of war. That's why I'm not mad at nothing he's doing. I'm listening to his interviews and seeing what he's saying out there, even though the, the proof is there. I'm watching what he's putting out there, and I'm watching people run with it. For example, he like, yeah, hit man, you know, you're hot, he ain't a threat to the culture. What battle do I have as a threat to the culture? I do, like, he got four. I got 34. Like what, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching him say, yeah, he got mad because, you know, girls giggling, he want to be a center of attention. No, I was mad because ARP said we couldn't bring nobody and I get there, you got 12 people. Mm -hmm. I'm mad because, me and you supposed to have a face off with your entourage steady harassing and doing that and you're not even supposed to be in here. I'm not mad at like it was fans and nothing, you just laughing at camera. No, laugh at me, that ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying, the proof there though. I'm by myself, you ain't supposed to bring nobody. Why is all these people heckling and talking while we trying to face off? That was a wild strategy for me. So I, yeah, so I gotta turn around, cause if you just watching on camera and you think it's just fans and you'll think he just cooking me cause everybody laughing. No, it's everybody with him laughing. So I gotta turn around like, shut up. like. That's what I'm mad for. But they paint the picture like, oh, Hitman just want to be the thing and this and this and Lord mm -hmm. Jamar. Flip like, that's another, that's another mm -hmm. topic. I'll get on that. But you know what I'm saying? So when they, when they say them things, I can look in the mirror and know that's not me for real. Like you can just go Google. You can like they Google. You can Google toy drives and I go to the. I give parent, I give money to <coughs> um, single mothers and. College students, like I do, I do this all, and I ain't got Jay Z type stuff. Community down here, this community down here, they really appreciate you. Man. I appreciate that. Love. What you did for the children and the parents, also the parents were really happy about it. Yeah, they church right there, they was, you know, they. Was, I ain't, I ain't bringing them. I ain't bringing them. It's so small, but, but it was big. You know, people didn't know about it, but the people had to know about it. That shit come out. They really appreciate it. And this, and this convo is what drives. You know what I'm saying? Like this, ain't nobody never. 
and a battle rap told me, like, I've never had to answer no question like that here. So I appreciate that. Love. Bro man questions, tell me. Oh, man, my man, appreciate that, appreciate that. All right, this time I ain't gonna ask a question in between, just in case. Do like two more questions. Told you, see, everybody, everybody. Yeah, everybody. What's up, love? What's up, bro? Chilling. It's an honor to be here right now. Appreciate you being here. He has a grown man question. I feel sick with my. All right, so you have a legendary resume, like you said, thirty-five. Plus battles, you stood in front of the toughest name, Sir Ferb, all that. Now, with a face off going viral like this, do you feel like this is your biggest battle personally? Not just because of how it's selling and what everyone else thinks. Do you personally feel like this is your biggest battle? Or you're just like, man, cast this, it's not as big. No, this is the biggest battle as far as intention wise, mm -hmm. you know? But you gotta understand, like, I don't really understand. Like, I be tr I'm not trying to sound like cocky, but it's like, I got a battle with 8 million views. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a battle, a legendary battle with P. Diddy in the stands. I got a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it might be the biggest as far as <clears throat> the number wise I understand, but as far as biggest, like my biggest battle in my career was like awesome. That meant more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This battle is just a bunch of people who are the, the, the people who understand the culture coming in. Like I don't yeah. not, knock to them, but so I understand, but I, I'd rather have the battles in the culture that made the culture do like this yeah. to get to this point. This battle big because of who, what happened back yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like I just woke up yesterday, I want to battle. I battle to cast this viral. Yeah. No, it's battle because my name, they got up there. It resonates. And, you know what I'm saying? So I understand it's a big battle. But my, okay, let me ask you this. I disagree. You disagree with what? You disagree with what? Uh, uh, question got to come sit down. Just hold it. Just hold it. I not want to talk now. You can come. You come. Sit. Just nah, you come, come, you come sit down. You come sit down. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Okay. No, please don't. No. Please don't. No, please don't. No, 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 no. Hold on. He had a comment though. He's trying to roll. No, no. I'm going to leave it. 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 I'm going to leave it.
For real. He is that shit, man. No, no, he's talking about it. He's like, 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 like the people don't know shit. I gave you a twenty-one year. I gave you a twenty-one year. That's not a kid. Some, a twenty-one year old don't know shit. Like that. The way you talking about forty-year-olds? So they know they know you from like like Wild and Out. Though. They know me from Battle Rap and Wild and Out. Oh, this is not this. I don't know you from Battle Rap. Right. Like this. I don't tell. I don't tell you though, because you just said the dumbest. Fuck this nigga. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that wall and out again, fam. Bring that shit up again, nigga. I swear to God, this nigga. Pussy ass. Nick Cannon slap you, nigga. It was like this. Puerto Rican boy, I think he had a Rainbow Mafia. And he told you, he'll teach you how to swallow or something like that. It was a joke, though. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. It was a joke. Listen, listen. That was your first time. No, 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 no,
You know what I'm saying? So, I, it, can't, it can't do nothing with me. Appreciate, appreciate it. Man. Thank you. Appreciate you. We're going to have one more question. And, and we have a notable guy who's got a, 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 a classic coming up on tomorrow's card. Thank you, AWOL, for jumping on this uh, the stream real quick. No problem. Hey, hey, what's good, homie? First of all, that's AWOL. That's good. That was well. I'm trying to give him as much more blame as possible. Look at me on the card with him. Honestly, Yo. I was I was actually that's, that was my question. So um, obviously myself, Will, you, um, were battlers out of the Midwest, and so it's not necessarily like a question per se. I just want you to kind of elaborate because you mentioned like like ninety percent of your battles are on the road. You know what I mean? Like you spend a lot of time in the first twenty battles where. I mean, you might be out there with your brother, or you might be out there with one person, and everybody else is, is on the other team, you know what I mean? And so that passion that you have is something that I always respected as far as putting your region on the map. And uh, I just kind of wanted to let you kind of have a floor and just elaborate on, one, just kind of what it means to you from somebody from St. Louis, you know, and, uh, and putting on for your region. Yeah, like coming from St. Louis, man, you know, we weren't supposed to be at a battle rap, you know, especially. It's a New York East Coast dominated sport, so when you think of St. Louis, the first thing you come on our hand is, um, oh, you know, chicken head, what yeah. they gonna do, you know what I'm saying? So for us to change the dynamics of how you look that rap from that way is already a win itself, you know what I'm saying? So and then what me and Verve did were when you met mention the top battles ever, like you gotta mention us. So that's another win. So every time you no matter if you name three, four, five of them, you gotta name two St. Louis people. Probably. You know what I'm saying? So it's stuff like that that I'm starting to realize that lasts long in the culture. Like, it's people still talking about Summer Madness 2. Yeah. That was in 2012. You know what I'm saying? So br bring moments, man. Like, I just like, man, bring moments. Try to do stuff legendary because people come and go. I can name 50 bad robbers that was there that's gone. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to, man, I just try to always think, oh, if I do my thing, man. They probably they'll remember me for another five years after this. You know what I'm saying? Each battle I try to do, you know what I'm saying? Think of myself like that. You know? And that's what I think when you talk about how serious you take every battle. It's coming from the Midwest, you know that the opportunity is not every weekend for you. Yeah, exactly. So being from a coast, there's an opportunity because yeah. you can just walk Especially out the back door. back then, you know, yeah. one choke, one slip up, you weren't on the next card. Right, right. So I think that kind of helped me too as far as like a lot of these guys now get guaranteed three battle deals. I come and you smoke me at war. I still got known coming up. Back then, you lose a battle, choke anything, you might not be seen until December, you battle January. If that, you know what I'm saying? So I knew that still the saw me like, man, if I don't, if I, if I, act, I, I can't ask LP for that crazy number I be asking. You know what I'm saying? So I know my first time on RBE, let me do my thing, because now I know you're going to renegotiate. But if I just got smoke versus bill or bullshit, how can I come to ARP like, give me that bag? I just say that, like from a professional standpoint, man. Like I watched you as a fan and stuff, and just from the Midwest that, or whatever, you just, your thing too, just man. knowing somebody like have a pioneer in that aspect, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate them. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, All right, look. And I'm about to I'm smoke you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody in the crowd, for y'all questions. I really appreciate y'all. Yo, holla, man. I'm a fan. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, man. I think I think the road to this card has been amazing. I think the energy is crazy. And I can tell from shit that you said during the sit down, it's gonna be something to see tomorrow. It's gonna be something. I appreciate doing business with you again. I told you when, I, when you first booked me, I said, I'm gonna come to that stage up. It's probably gonna be the most viewed joint. I told you that. I ain't let you down, so I'm telling you this. It's kind of cheat code. It's gonna be a most beautiful joint too. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, but I, I know I'm gonna come do my thing, man. I just wanna say shout out to everybody who got the pay-per-view stream. Shout out to people who got tickets in the building. Shout out to all the media. Like it don't happen without y'all as far as the fans and all that. So even the people that wanna see me lose, thanks for buying it. Like hey, tune in. Tune in tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Hey man, holla tomorrow. Hey. Rarebreedent.com. All right, good job. We on it. You already know. I thought 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 I th